Muncie, Indiana. Population, 67,000. Located 60 miles northeast of Indianapolis. And a world away from Hollywood. to be a cop. I've had some preparation from my days of chips, but that was make-believe. This is the real deal. I'm not physical. I, I don't like to hear people yell. I don't like falling on the ground. So being this police officer is going to teach me a lot that I didn't realize was inside of me. In the last three and a half years, I've just turned my life around. I went from being a lazy, overweight drug addict to someone who takes a lot of pride in themselves. I kind of just got fed up of being that guy and decided I wanted to change my life. I recognize the fact that I'm about to embark on a journey that's very different from the wrestling world. There's real contact and there's real consequences. I have a new challenge for myself because I got to prove to them that I'm serious about this and I want to earn their respect. I think these guys just have in their head, they have a jackass guy coming here who's just this party kid and just does whatever stupid things but they don't know that I am going to take this job serious. You guys, we're going to have a seat for me. I want to make one thing real clear. We're here to enforce the law, OK? Saw your movie, wasn't impressed. Jackass around here and see where it gets you. This is as real as it gets. You guys are going to be police officers. During this training, we're going to teach you how to handle a firearm. This gun is designed to kill. That's it. I don't know if I want to say I'm excited to have a gun, but I, I am. I mean, I have these guns. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but... <laughs> you guys will be making arrests. You will be placing somebody in handcuffs. You will have to fight somebody. Jack around once during any of this training, and I will do everything I can through the chief to see you gone. Can't sing and dance your way out of this one. Just to hear how he was speaking to me was very just controlling and loud and hard. I said, wow, they don't play. Are you ready for training? Yes, sir. Are you ready for training? Yes, sir. Training begins now. Today's lesson, there's nothing routine about a routine traffic stop. Today, you're going to have a course called Stops. It's basically how to do vehicle stops of every form imaginable, from the classroom phase to putting a toy gun in your gun belt and doing some mock vehicle stops of your own. What we're going to do is we're going to show you a couple videos here. One of them is a sheriff, I think, in a small town. This is video footage from his car. Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the car! Oh. Dang. Oh. oh, my God. He shot again. Officers were getting clipped while they were doing stops, and, and, and that, <laughs> it'll wake you up. And I'm thinking, I better suck it up real good because I want to get home after this, all this is done with. This is as real as we can make it for vehicle stops. And you'll do everything from routine, let me see your license, thanks, have a nice day, to getting it on. There will be no live weapons on the gun range. It's all just play guns and pellets. Even though they'll hurt, there's no chance of getting killed. Now, I'm going first. You guys learn. Thank you. All right? Yeah. <laughs> you learn so you don't make the mistakes. Driver of the Green Saturn, open the driver's door, please. 
Let's have both hands outside, sir, where I can see them. Please step out of the vehicle, sir. Turn around for me, sir. The other cadets have never done a cop show. I did for six years, Poncherello and Chips. So over them, I had a tremendous advantage. Put your hands cup on the back of your head. This is just a fraction. It's just a tick. Oh, you said suspension. Suspended in fraction. It's just a oh. tick. Never mind, sir. <laughs> 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 you know what? I misunderstood the call. It's all no risk, okay? We'll get into high risk later. I think Eric's gonna even try and call in an airstrike. I don't know. 121, 27, pulling over a green satin. All right, focus. Gun! Good. Nice moves. Good job. Sir, I'm going to ask you to get out the car. Get out the car, sir. Dang, dang, dang. Oh, Jackson shot at our man. I'm sorry. It's normal business okay, every day sir. today, but you're coming out of your car ready to go. Okay, All right. okay, good. She was already way trigger having. She unleashed the whole clip on him, just... <laughs> Richard? Yes. They call you dick? Most times, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Stop. He did a great job. He attacked the weapon, and he actually, what he did was he hit it so hard, he pulled the slide back, and it wouldn't work anymore. So that was great, OK? Oh. Yep. Gun! Shots fired! Ah, oh, it went off in my holster. Hit me right in the nose. OK. It yeah. got the mark. Did it? OK, you scan. Did it? Yeah. Nice. You did fine up to the part where you broke cover. If it had been a real gun, it would have killed you. Okay? Um, just move. Move, 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 move. All right? Okay. This is way more intense than I could have ever expected. If that was the real world, I would have got shot in the face. Today's lesson, how to handle and fire a 50,000-volt taser. This is Sergeant Brad Airy. He does all of our taser training. Uh, the tasers are uh, an integral part of what we do, and we thought you ought to see them. The rules governing the taser are that you cannot possess one in the state of Indiana unless you have been tasered yourself. That was basically it. So we had to just get fried. We can do this one of two ways. We can actually get shot with the probes, or we can get hooked up with an alligator clip. What do you guys want to do? I think I might just take the clamp. The shot is just a... Okay, yeah. I'm going to hook him up. Yeah, hook him up. All right. Thank you, Daphne. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah, he's not going to get this signal, son. Oh, whoa, dude. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 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 You all right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Come on, guys. 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 One of my testicles has enlarged from getting zapped by a taser. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Good. Ah! Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Good. Ready? Yes, go for it. Ah! 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 Okay. Please. You okay? That was in the arm. That was the most beautiful. Okay. That was so beautiful. Stand up. That was in the arm. To me, I, I experienced like a machine going, going all the way across your, your body, and it's just like jumping. Then all of a sudden, you have nothing left in you. It takes absolutely everything out of you where you just melt. Yeah. The wire's been shot. You want to get the prongs? Oh, you're going to get shot? Nuts. What the cop would actually do is not run up and put alligator clips on them. They would shoot them with a taser gun. So I went, yes, please. Baby, you're going to get those things in you. And they are the hooks like Have you seen them? They're like fishing hooks. We'll hold on to her so she doesn't fall. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, we're ready. Whatever. All right, okay, here we go. Stop. Oh. No. Whoa. Is it 
Is it ladies stuff? Trish, you're the toughest dude I know. <laughs> I just got tasered, and I got the marks to prove it. Uh, getting tased is probably one of the craziest things I've done. I'm a total boy, aren't you I? Take it. You're more of a guy than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I have you on the speakerphone so everybody can hear you. Guess what? Yeah. I'm in Muncie, Indiana. In Muncie, Indiana? Yeah. For what? I'm training to become an officer, a cop, a Muncie, Indiana policeman. Hello? Are you there? Come on. Why can't you see me being a police? It's dangerous, that's why. I know. You don't talk to Mother about this? No, anymore? Mother doesn't know. Doc, you please do me a favor. Don't tell Mother. I can't I... talk to Mother or, or, or Jermaine or Tia about this or, or Michael. I want to surprise everybody because I know you guys all think that I can't jog or run or do any of these things. Please don't tell Mother, don't tell Jermaine, don't tell Jan, don't tell Michael, don't tell anybody. Please promise me. We promise? Okay, very well. So I gotta go now. I love you very, 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 very much. Okay, I love you. Love you later. Okay, I will, certainly. Okay, bye-bye. Today's lesson. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, martial arts, and fighting back. Welcome to Physical Tactics. This is probably one of the most important things that we're gonna work on throughout your whole training. Today we're learning soft, open hand techniques to get somebody to comply with what we're saying. Let's say she's choking you. You'll say, me and you are working together. I want her to release you, yeah. okay? So I'm just gonna come down. Oh. Okay? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pain, I can, I can tolerate it. I'm gonna tolerate it all because yeah. that's part of this job. We're doing it at a training level right now, okay? So we're not here to hurt each other. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Latoya is scaring the hell out of me. What happened to 30%? Oh. Hey. Here it is. Oh, Latoya, mellow out. I really was not cool. She's using like full on force. Lie down on the ground. Lie down on the ground. I never thought any day in my life I'd get handcuffed by Jackson. And now it's happening right here. <laughs> There's a lot of things about me that people don't understand. I'm four foot seven. Good things come in small packages. <laughs> Sir, will you please get on the ground? I am gonna get through this physical stuff. Everybody's like an animal. I'm a pit bull. And I have a mean bite. Put your arm there. But I got power behind me. I'm just gonna defend the weapon. Right. Okay. 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 Yeah, do sure. what you have to do. <laughs> He <laughs> 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 pushed the air out of me. He no. farted. Podge just farted. On the table, fold them, and then you put them in a bag and take them home. Uh -huh. Where is we man? What's he doing? Anybody uh, know? I do. What? <laughs> we man went to a bar. He went to a bar? Everybody knows I'm here to take police work seriously, right? And you also know I take partying seriously. So after a stressful day on the job, hitting streets, it's got a time to unwind. week or two, maybe put out a brake light or something, and I might pull you over. Today's lesson, real guns, real ammo, 
real danger. All right, guys, welcome to the gun range. This is about as real as it gets. One mistake, somebody gets seriously injured or killed, OK? So no jacking around. Agreed? Yes, sir. Sure. All right. We're going to be firing a Glock 40 caliber, Glock model 22, 40 caliber handgun. I love shooting guns. They make me feel good. I started shooting guns at six. At eight, I shot my sister. And right now, I own two guns, and I feel very comfortable with them. It's going to sound like this. I'm empty. There's no bullets in this. I'm going to pull the trigger. You know it's not loaded, OK? All right, guys, you're going to be firing six rounds on my command to fire. Let's go ahead and step up to the table. OK, you take the round. You're going to push the round up to your thumb, then push down and slide it underneath your thumb. Did you ever take it down? Go ahead. No, that's not Here. Uh, Here. Here. I think the scariest thing I have ever seen was LaToya Jackson loading a Glock 40 six feet away from me. Load charge, holster on the line. Is the line ready? The line is ready. Get comfortable, get set, fire. Pull it back, pull it back. <laughs> fire! Woo! Watch your left hand. Your left hand's getting too far. Holy moly. Latoya Jackson and guns. Squeeze real slow, because there's 11 bullets that aren't even on the target. Are you ready to fire? Gun out, kneeling position. Fire! Fire! Oh my god, what do we have here? Did one of the instructors shoot that for you? Tell me the truth. No. This is you? This is me. Is this him? You are doing very well. Way to go, Rambo. Nice I'm job. very impressed with Jack Connor this morning. And I don't impress too easily. All we got to do is get you to calm down a little bit. OK. Relax. And then just that slow trigger squeeze. Focus on the side. Yeah. <laughs> the score is a 208, and that's a qualifying score. So. Yeah. You have no idea how happy I am because I wasn't sure. But like, now I can relax a little bit. Let's go, yeah. Let's go, yeah. Okay, baby. I'm happy, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> All right, guys. Bring it in. Bring it in. Couldn't be prouder of it. All right. Special Latoya from going from never holding a gun before to qualifying. That's amazing. Real proud of all of you. Jack, you got top gun of the class. Congratulations. Yeah, you Outstanding. I don't know about you guys, I can't feel my fingers and toes. <laughs> We're done with fire off. Come on. Yeah. I'm not gonna brag, but I am a good shot, so uh, you know, I would hope uh, criminals would think uh, think twice about pulling the gun. Awesome. Guys, I wanted to talk to you and let you know how I think things have gone, OK? You guys all came through with flying colors. You know, Jason, I, I, I feel like I owe, almost owe you an apology for my opinion of you when you first walked in the door. Jack, ask around here and see where it gets you. Okay. The first day I met you, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to keep my mouth shut, let you see who I really am. Well, that's a good attitude because you did. Thank you very much. LaToya, you know, when they first told me you were coming, I didn't know what to expect. Can't sing and dance your way out of this one. Wow. Did you prove me wrong? I'll apologize. You guys have far exceeded anything I thought you were capable of doing. Okay? Everybody, congratulations. Give yourself a hand.
I walk in, and there's over 200 people that are there to just cheer us on. It wasn't what I expected. It was way left field. Standing there in front of that huge auditorium packed with people, how I love it. Thank you very much for coming tonight. As you can see, we have five new recruits who have gone through a series of uh, three weeks of really intense training. Each of these people have now passed our requirements, and we're glad to have them here tonight to swear them in as Muncie police officers. Repeat after me, please. As a law enforcement officer, my duty is to protect and serve. As a law enforcement officer, my duty is to protect and serve. I will safeguard the innocent. I will safeguard the innocent. I will maintain my calm in the face of danger. I will maintain my calm in the face of danger. I will uphold the law with honor and integrity. I will uphold the law with honor and integrity. In the proud tradition of the Muncie Police Department. In the proud tradition of the Muncie Police Department. Thank you. Sergeant Rick Eber is going to help me hand out your weapons and badges. Eric Estrada, congratulations. Thank you. A lot of people don't get the opportunity to have their life come around full circle. And mine has for me. I am now an official police officer. Victoria Jackson, congratulations. Now all of a sudden I'm thinking, wow, this is really it. This is the real thing. We're going to be out there on the streets fighting for our lives and other people's. Chris Stratus. Jack Osborne. Jason McCoolin. I just want everybody to know that even though we are TV stars, movie stars, whatever kind of stars, when we're in this uniform, we are police officers. And that's our first line of duty. Welcome to the Muncie Police Department. Roll call's at 6 o'clock. Do not be late. Oh, my God, we're cops. <laughs> 6 p.m. Five Hollywood celebrities about to hit the streets as cops for the first time in their lives. Excited? Tonight is my very first roll call. Let's go. Listen up. Here's your partner assignments. Jason Acuna will be riding with Officer Scott O'Dell. Trish Stratus will be riding with Officer Kyle Temple. Jack Osborne will be riding with Officer Damon Stovall. Latoya Jackson, you'll be riding with Officer Amarina Kessler. Eric Estrada, you'll be riding with Officer Jamie Brown. I think I got really lucky. I mean, I've worked with the blonde before, but he's changed. <laughs> well done a good job in training. Okay, now it's the real thing. Make me proud out there. Dismissed. <laughs> some boundaries and make some rules. This is my call, okay? That's because I'm in control of this car. I have more experience than you. Are you scared? You locking your door? No, no, I'm not You scared of the bad parts of Muncie? Oh I'm my goodness, you locked button. your door. I didn't lock my door. My <laughs> oh my goodness. Unlocked button. Oh. Uh. Come on, clear. clear. Right. There's left to center. Real bad left to center. We see this guy all over the road. And I'm like, dude, let's get this guy. You can't hit the curb. How's it going, buddy? Can you turn the engine off for me? Can you step out of the car? How you doing tonight? All right. You all right, man? 
Yeah, keep your hands out of your pocket. Hands on your head. Come back to the car. Put your hands behind your back. I'm just cuffing you right now for safety. I'm gonna pat you down. You got anything on you? This one's crack? Not lately. Two crack pipes, couple knives, wrench. This guy has everything on him. Yeah, you do have a lot of stuff, man. You got a lot of pockets. Look at me. Well, your pupils are real small, I man. I have my pupils. And this is the one that I would never have. You never have this job? I would never even touch it. I took this job to keep people safe. Don't you feel bad towards the innocent people that are coming towards the other direction? I believe you're under the influence of something. Come back here with me, buddy. Almost home, and you're gonna rush me to jail. I'd rather put you in jail for the night than have to put somebody six feet under. The sergeant just dispatched us to an address on South Penn. It's in reference to a SWAT raid, and they're needing some assistance. Get on the radio and call us 2609-1023. 2609, we're arriving. Perfect. Going uh, flight from visiting and coming to the Females in here. 6076, Go ahead and go on in first. All right. We're secure, aren't we? It's secure, yeah. All right. That's what she was doing. Crack cocaine, obviously. And she has a bookkeeping of customers and things, of sales. This is not a major, major, major trafficking of drugs here, but there is trafficking. It's illegal and it is trafficking of drugs. All right, well, I just uh, make a right here. It wasn't what I expected. I expected to see someone 25 years old, not somebody 75 years old. We served a drug and search warrant on this lady, and um, I'm going to take it down to uh, jail right now. Lean back, put your legs up. There you are, sweetheart. All right, stay warm. This is the wrong way to meet you. Uh, yeah, it is. We should have met at the supermarket or something. Glad you see you, good looking. Thank you, ma'am. You you try to relax back there. Okay, honey. All right, darling. We're taking her to the county jail, Delaware County Jail. 2609. 2609. One female for the county. I wouldn't miss one movie on that show. God in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You can laugh. You can laugh. You can laugh. How far is the... Where are we going? County jail. How far? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get rid of me, punch. <laughs> <laughs> A14 West 13. We're going to A14 West 13. Possibly a domestic. Oh man. Tell you what, a month ago I definitely did not think I'd be doing this. <laughs> so we're walking into a domestic dispute right now with a uh, local regular. Okay, what's going on? What? What's going on? Mouth, man. Say that again. Mouth, man. Right. Mouth, man. There's a guy crying with a bloody face, and just, he looked battered. Come on, step out. Oh, man. Let him go. Step, step, step down there. If you would, let him, him down real quick. Hey, on. Something. Mike, put your cigarette out. Hey, I, 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 put it out. Put your cigarette out. I didn't say put it in your mouth. Put your cigarette out, buddy. Put it out. Hey. Can you step against the wall? The guy's hands were like, he kind of had like crab hands. It was weird. It was just like, there was like three fingers on one hand that were like that. And then there was just like two like that. It was really weird. Um, I kind of felt sorry for the dude. And the fact that, like, how can that guy punch? Yeah, open your mouth. Oh, yeah, he busted up pretty good. Talked to the guys whose trailer it was inside, tried to find out what the story was. How uh, come, how come you ended up hitting Michael? He keeps coming back. You just don't let him he in, but you don't have to open the he door. There's my place, so you can see that. Ghost stuff. All right, well, look. Just don't let him in. Problem solved right there. 
Do you want to press charges? Huh? Do you no, want to? I'm gonna go home, man. You, you don't want to press charges. I'm gonna go home. You just, gonna, you just want to go home and leave it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Okay. Says he just wants to go home. Okay. Specifically, what? Specifically, what would I do differently? With the cigarette, is that a With weapon? That, that is a weapon. Immediately put it out. Okay. Also, putting them on a wall. Uh -huh. Did they show you that in stops? Uh, Stop searching them on walls? Yeah. You don't want to do that, right? Okay. Okay. Next time, you want to just make sure to get them off the wall and interlock their hands. If okay. You want to. I know it. With him, it's kind yeah, of hard. Yeah, I just, I saw his hands. I'm like, uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. All right. Six oh eight. We're going to be out at break on Texas Roadhouse. Muncie is is quite different from L.A. When I'm at home, of course, I eat at Spago's. I eat at Mr. Chow's. So I, I'm learning to adjust to Muncie. Hi. Hi. Good, how are you? At Texas Roadhouse, we pull the peanuts out of here, and we crack them. And you eat them, and then you throw the shells on the floor. I'm used to eating at places with tablecloths. And she says, well, you're not going to find many places with tablecloths here. We want a tablecloth. A tablecloth? We get there, and they didn't have it. So if they don't have a tablecloth, I make my own. All right, guys. Oh, Scott, you're so nice. Scotty, can I have a finger bowl, please? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. No problem. You want a finger bowl as well? No, I'm good. You'll be all right? I'm high on you that you knew what a finger bowl was. Yes. It was hilarious at dinner when she asked for the, the finger bowls and the tablecloths. But that's her personality, so we can't make her change that. That's not going to make her any any worse or better of a cop. Oh, thank you very much. Would you like some more coffee? Essex and North Oakwood. Okay. We got to go? All right. We got to go. 2546. Roy Hawley is the individual that has an active warrant. It's for failure to comply with community corrections. He's not a very nice guy. He doesn't respect police or authority. Okay. And last time that, that I dealt with him, we had actually a physical altercation getting him in custody. Okay? okay? So I'm thinking, wow, when two little petite women are gonna go and apprehend this guy, I was a little bit fearful. I get fearful when they open the door because you don't know if they're going to come to the door with a gun or not. And that's why I always keep my hand on my gun. Hey, Roy. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Huh? Roy, right? Oh, Hi, Hi you sweetie. Roy, you, got a, you got a warrant for your arrest. Yes, I need you to turn around. Get in, in here. I need Stop. Turn get up here. Get your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind, behind your back. Behind right right now. What'd you throw in there? What'd you throw? He's, stop it! Now stop! Threw your crack pipe in there, didn't you? Like the last time. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I know. You threw something in there. This guy was so big, it took two sets of handcuffs to uh, clean him. Stay right there. Do not move. Stop! Put your belly up against the house. Radio. Chris, you have a cage car. Okay. No, I don't have a right to go in your house, but I have a right to see what you dropped, okay? Or threw. Is he cuffed? Yes, he's All cuffed. Right. We got him cuffed. Roy, step back, buddy. Step back. I look in the house to secure to make sure everything is straight. Nobody else comes out to um, protect myself and Amy. And I look in and I see that there's another guy there. I need for you to stand up. Turn around. I need for you to back out of here. Back out of here. Okay, he has a warrant also according okay, to under arrest. arrest. No, I, I just got out of court. You're under arrest. Okay. 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 Let me ask you to get down on your knees. Right, we do. Radio, we probably need one more hey, crush like her, though. There you go. She did a great job. Oh, yeah. Took, took control of the other guy that was still sitting in the house because he's still nothing less than a threat to us. I didn't know what to expect. I was terrified, I have to admit. There's that other part of me that was excited, nervous, happy, wondering, am I gonna come back alive? Now that these real celebrities are real cops, they'll face real crimes. Are we entering the house, weapons drawn? Real danger.
I need you to translate for me. I'm the only Latino in the Muncie PD. And real house cats? Oh, no, don't please don't. I don't like oh, them. We love this door. Armed and famous, CBS tomorrow at 8, 7 central. Midnight. On the streets of Muncie, crime doesn't sleep. And neither do our celebrity cops. Roll up on him. What's up, sweetheart? You need an autograph? I need a picture, too. Oh, yeah. Do you need a get out of jail card, too? Yeah, hope we get to see each other more. I did. Let me tell you about the ladies of Muncie. Not only are they safer, they're feeling sexier. Why? Because they know I'm roaming the streets. And by the time we got there, you can tell the house has been totally gutted. Okay, it's your house, buddy? Yeah, I am, I am. Hey, my, my name's Officer Temple. What happened, buddy? The Christmas tree. The Christmas tree? Okay. The Christmas tree went up in fire, and the whole house, he said, like, within seconds, was on fire. Where's your wife right now? He ran in and got his two kids, okay. and he ran next door to the neighbor's house. His wife was out with their other child. She's expecting, uh, so she's on her way back. So you got up, you went and got your kids, and you got out of there. You know, that's... turned it all. Don't ever say to yourself, shoulda, coulda, woulda. All right? You did exactly what you had to do. Is that, is that her? Is that, is that a red man? Come on, let's go see. It's very emotional seeing people going through that. And I'm just trying to be someone that can stand by and be supportive and tell them everything's going to be okay. Lisa, your kids are safe. He, he acted really quickly, got you guys out, got them safe. Your kids are inside. Daddy helped you with the fire, huh? Yeah, he did. I know. He did good. Daddy, you're their hero. It was just amazingly surreal. I've never been that close to a fire. You know, this is the stuff you see on TV, and here I am in the middle of it, and I'm their, you know, their grief counselor. This stuff, you can replace it. You now I know it sucks still, right? But you can replace it. Can't replace people. You got your family, your husband. I mean, he's a hero. You know, he went in there and got kids out quick. The kids had no clothes on, he ran over, you know? All right? You weren't there, none of this, you didn't inhale any of this, thank God. Right? I walked through the house with the husband afterwards and everything's completely gone, everything's soaked. Oh, I made it. It's great. We find this metal box and we open it up and most of their Christmas presents were okay. It's fantastic, guys. They're gonna have their Christmas and it's gonna be great. You know, you're a hero. You are. You're safe and your family's safe. You guys are gonna have Christmas together. All right, it's gonna be the hardest thing you guys have ever done and dealt with, but you got through it and you're safe and you're together. All right? Come hug. You guys. Thanks for everything. My pleasure. If you need me for anything, I'm around. I'm sorry, your first day had a job. My first day on a job. <laughs> But I got to meet great people like you guys. My name is Trish, all right? If you need me, ask for me. Didn't tell me about that part of the job. But, you know, I'm thinking traffic stops and uh, people speeding and burglaries. It's a big part of it, huh? Their worst day. Our every day. Muncie better watch out. We're in town, man. <laughs> Muncie is safer with armed and famous. Armed <laughs> and oh, yeah. famous. famous. We're famous. We're famous. 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 We're famous. Armed. We're armed. <laughs>
Stay tuned for scenes from tomorrow night's episode of Armed and Famous. Tomorrow night on Armed and Famous. You must not threaten her anymore. Officer Estrada gets tough. Nobody should be hit. Get in the car, and especially women. He's going to jail. Are we entering the house, weapons drawn? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And Officer Osborne hunts down a murder suspect. My heart felt like it was going to fly out my chest. Criminal Minds is next, here on CBS. In this house, beware when the lights go out. She was probably killed in the dark. Being trapped. Eye-opening. Terrifying. New cold case. Then, he ate for a living. Mr. Rosen's stomach contained household bleach. But did someone want him dead? The habit of victimizing freaks and geeks. Do without a trace after cold. I would have paid the producers to let me be in it. Lights, camera, action. All eyes across the country are on Muncie. See how people there feel about their reality TV debut.